This 26th and 27th of May, we want to warmly welcome everyone to the next Mekong Region Land Forum. We at the Mekong Region Land Governance Project, together with our partners at the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the Land Portal, will be co-organizing this event, in which we expect a wide group of stakeholders to participate in uh, discussions over two days surrounding important topics, all relating to smallholder tenure security in the Mekong Region. What we anticipate is to have representatives from key government agencies, from the private sector, from civil society, and from academia and development agencies to talk together about the core issues that are um, of concern for smallholder farmers in the region. Largely, these relate to two domains that we'll focus on. So one of these is the recognition of customary tenure in forest areas, and the other is to do with responsible agricultural investments in the Mekong region. So what we anticipate is a great discussion, uh, debate, and some dialogue, uh, keynote presentations from important actors um, and experts in the region to talk about these issues, to come together with some ideas of consensus for joint action um, surrounding policy, legal frameworks, and the practices of the public sector, as well as governance of land resources more generally. So we want to warmly welcome you once more to this event. Thank you. So in past years, when we organized the Mekong Region Land Forum, we had done this on site in locations in Bangkok or elsewhere. Now, because of COVID-19, of course, the travel restrictions mean that we've now shifted the format for how we're gonna do this. So this year, the Mekong Region Land Forum will be organized as both an online event, as well as in person in Vientiane in Laos, in Hanoi in Vietnam, in Phnom Penh in Cambodia, in Chiang Mai in Thailand, and also hopefully in Yangon in Myanmar. Having to reformulate the organization of the forum because of COVID-19 also gave us an interesting opportunity to open this to a wider uh, stakeholder group, a wider group of participants for the forum. So what we've intentionally done is structured it such that we have a lot of the content we thought would be of special interest to European or North American audiences put into the afternoon session so that with a time change, it'd be simpler to incorporate them into the, uh, into the online discussions. Natalie, I wonder if you could say a few words about how we're going to organize the specific sessions and sort of the flow of the, of the forum itself. So Mike explained to us the, the overall aspect of the forum and the different parts of the forum and why we're doing this forum. I'd like to explain a little bit about the details of the forum and how the forum will be organized. The forum will focus on two different thematic areas, customary tenure and responsible agricultural investment, both under the umbrella of looking at forested landscapes. We'll have two sessions on customary tenure and two sessions on responsible agricultural investment. Session one will focus on the national experience of the MRLG partners in country and talk about how the different pathways for the recognition of customary tenure and hopefully discuss how to scale that out. Session two will really talk about regional experiences of leveraging regional platforms like ASEAN or other initiatives that are working on social forestry, forestry, tenure, and various different aspects um, that, that encompass tenure. And we'll be talking about how to leverage these regional platforms to influence and uh, make impact at the national level. Session three will be focused on FPIC. We call it demystifying FPIC, so the session will really unpack what FPIC means both for government but also for private sector and how that has an impact on increased investment in land but also on customary tenure. Session four will focus on responsible agricultural investment in the Mekong, specifically focus, focused on the ASEAN guidelines for responsible agricultural investment and different experiences of private sector actors. The sessions will be broken down into three different sub parts, let's say. The sessions will first have a panel of presenters, so there'll be one or two or three, sometimes three presenters who will talk about the, the topic and the session. Then that will be followed by a panel discussion where people are responding and there'll be some time for question and answers. And then after a coffee break, there'll be breakout sessions. So how, these break, how are these breakout sessions gonna work? Because we're all gonna, we're gonna be across the world, online and in country. In each different country, we'll have a breakout group, or uh, we'll actually probably have two breakout groups that will talk about those specific issues and answer specific questions in that local language. Online, we'll have one or two breakout sessions that will discuss the, the, the topic at hand as well. 
So we're really hoping that you join us and we're really excited to have some very fruitful discussions that will hopefully give us a lot of tools to move forward and recognize or increase responsible forest and, and land governance in the Mekong. Thank you.